sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell them. Taco Bell is Mexican restaurant. No, Taco no? Bell is not no. Mexican at all. No, 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 no. Have you been there? No. Emotional damage. Oh, I don't want to go there. Why? Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. My name is Amy. Today we are together for making one more video for you. Before starting the video, just hit that button below, subscribe to this channel, and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up for helping me to grow with you together. Today we are talking about international students' experience here in Canada, specifically Winnipeg in Manitoba province. Let me ask from them to introduce themselves to you. Let's start. From you. Hello, my name is Tabata and I am from Mexico. Hi, my name is Bianca and I'm from Brazil. I first thing first, why Canada? What do you do here? Well, in my case, uh, I decided to come here because of the head coach of the soccer team because we both practice soccer. Mm -hmm. So she's from my hometown, so she asked me to come here to enjoy, like be part of the team and also have the opportunity to study here and better level than in Mexico okay. so I just take the decision because I want to grow in these two ways in soccer and of course I want to have a better education okay. yeah same with me basically I, I was playing soccer in Brazil then I decided it was time to start university and then I, I met this head coach which is our head coach still like three years ago I met her and then she provided uh, the schooling option here as well as the soccer option okay. then i just thought it was the best place to come and then i came okay but and i've been here for three years now for three years for yeah. you? Uh, this is my first year what do you study well right now i'm in new one trying to go to science for chemistry okay and the undergraduate well yeah yeah okay for you yeah i'm in my second year of engineering Biosystems engineering. Biosystem, yeah. yeah. How do you manage studying and also the playing soccer, especially in Canada? <laughs> it is cold and it's not like a usual for playing soccer, and you are coming from the origin of soccer from Brazil. It's really hard to manage because we have to practice every day mm -hmm. for two hours. So every day for two hours, mm -hmm. we have to dedicate time for soccer. And this is the main practice. You you also have extra practices, like you go to the gym, you do other activities mm -hmm. just to be good for soccer. And other than that, you have to study. So that's why we only take three classes. If we take more than three classes, yeah, we'll we, we, yeah, it's impossible. Sure it's impossible. Yeah. We don't have enough time. Uh, because we also, most of our players also work well. Also as international students, we need to work to pay our bills. So we work, we study, we train, we practice, and also we need to have like our social life keep growing because if not, we're not going to do, do anything. Do you have social life then? I don't know. I, I can <laughs> say that we have social yeah. life <laughs> because yeah. we don't have time to socialize. Because at the end of the day, like counting everything, paying bills and playing soccer, studying, mm -hmm. you don't have time to spend for no. social life or soccer. Uh, like, well, right now that we are start taking like courses in person, yeah. that's the only time. Yeah. And I can say time because we supposed to pay attention to the class, okay. but that's the only time that we have to socialize and to meet new people and make new friends. So like, mm -hmm. bro, do you have the homework? No. <laughs> 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 so yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> let's be friends. <laughs> okay, but uh, about the study, about the university experience, or do you have a um, scholarship fund or your uh, soccer team? paying you for tuition fee or any grants you are receiving from the university mm -hmm. or you are paying everything from your own budget? Uh, luckily, we have uh, some scholarship from the soccer team, so mm -hmm. that helps us a lot. But besides that, we still have to pay for other things. Mm -hmm. That's why we still have to work. But what is the difference between your country's education system and Canadian education system? I can say that it's more flexible. The way that we study here in Canada between like Mexico because for example in the university level we don't we take like maybe 10 10 to 12 courses mm -hmm. like in a whole semester like it's more than a whole year and okay. here they just took like three courses and are so specific like very specific courses mm -hmm. for what you want to do 
under okay. you, you were under three. So I can say that here it's way more easier, mm -hmm. but it's kind of hard for me because of the different language, like the okay. different language. Mm -hmm. And you studied in Mexico, not in English, yeah? Yeah, no, we speak Spanish. Spanish. So yeah. How about you? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we great. speak Portuguese. Yeah, so in Portuguese and then I came here, I had to study in English, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I think it's very flexible because you, as Taba said, you take like three or five classes. You have to take classes that will help you to your program. Mm -hmm. And you can, you have so many options, like you have so many classes that you can take. But like for each one of these classes, the course load is very intense. So you have many assignments, you have many tutorials, many things. So it's also it's so fast. Like when you close and open your eyes again, you are already in the midterm and you have to study for the exams and yeah, so fast. But playing university soccer team, does it help you for passing the exams or making easier or contributing your study program? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not they <so> are. <laughs> It doesn't help at all because it only takes more of our time. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, but we try our best to focus on school, you know, but school first and then soccer second. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. We put <laughs> soccer first because we really love soccer. Like, balance those things are so hard. Wow. Yeah. I pray for you. <laughs> we, 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 we really need it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're your fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm your fan, man. Yeah, I'm more of one of my views. Yeah, another question. When you started for applying to university, what you accept and, and everything, when you were planning for coming to Korea. About the visa requirement and the legal service and everything, how was that process from Brazil and from Mexico? Because the documentation is a big process, uh -huh. takes yeah. time and takes energy. Yeah, that's a good question. Should I start? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so in my case, I was already here in Canada, but I, I was with a, uh, how do you say? Visitor? Eta? Yeah, Eta. visitor visa. visa. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my student visa. And to get my student visa, I had to go out of the country to be able to apply for the visa. And then once I get up, accepted, I can come into the country again with wow. the new visa. Wow. So I had to go out of the country anyways. Okay. And then that's how I met Taba because I I went to Mexico. I didn't go to Brazil. Oh. I went to Mexico because he was taking uh, in the website, in the Canadian website, said that Mexico was a better option because he was taking last time. After how long you got your visa? Uh -huh. Roughly. So I had to wait for two months. Two and, two, and a half, months, more or less. two and a half months okay. and you know gather a bunch of documents mm -hmm. like yeah, yeah. Um, medical exams medical exams documents from my high school because I came from high school to the university okay, right yeah. so high school documents birth certificate my family documentation everybody from the first attempt you got your visa yes okay. but I I was um, I had a company with mm -hmm. me ah you applied through agency yes not by yourself. No, I didn't apply by myself. That okay. would take a long time okay. if I did apply by myself. Did you apply by yourself? Yep. Okay, so she can. She has another experience. But I also did it by myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I I had I needed the agency because I had a really short time to come to Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like September already, and I needed to come here for the season. Mm -hmm. My season started in September, so I I was. Hoping that it would take what two weeks. That's why I I, I called the agency to help me because okay, yeah, yeah. so we would Make take faster. shorter, faster. But yeah, yeah. ended up taking two months. And then in the meantime, I was with um, Taba in Mexico, mm -hmm. learning Spanish. Why? Because <laughs> that's the only way. You, Canada, that's yeah. the only way you can survive in Mexico oh, if, okay. if you're speaking the, their language. So in that way, it was nice to me that I got to learn a new language. How about you? Your experience? Well, in my experience was almost the same. Like I don't know why we always run out of time because we're always on the limit, like date, like on the deadline. So in my case, I have to wait because I have to pass my English exam first. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I failed my exam like three times or something like that. Oh no. Bro, I never studied English before since like 
on my second year of high school, like in um, 11th grade more or less, yeah. the Vanessa asked me, like the our head coach asked me like to come Canada mm -hmm. and I never speak English in my life. So I was like, okay, a new language in one year. Okay, I got it. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. <laughs> it took me one more year. And yeah. like, I finished my high school and then I take one whole year to study English to practice for my exam. Okay. And after that, I passed my exam. And well, after that, it was the COVID. So I cannot make I it to understand. come here. So when all these measures from COVID end, like in June more or less, I start all my documentation for the visa. It's sent to the embassy and the embassy just takes me like, uh, here are your biometrics letter. When I try to make an appointment for the biometrics, they just tell me like, oh, we are not available until fine, like the end of September. And I was like, no, I can't wait wow. that longer because I need to be there even at the end of August, yeah. at latest, like, so I decided to travel to Guatemala so yeah. I can do my biometrics there. So I like, this process was super fast because I was expecting like, they will took like three more weeks after I mm -hmm. do my biometrics so I can have my visa proof and then I can fly to Canada. Mm -hmm. So I traveled to Guatemala. I spend there like three days because I arrived. The next day I have my appointment and after that I just come back to Mexico. Super fast. And after that, like maybe less than a week, I just received my visa approved. Mm -hmm. And a week later I just came to Canada. Good. Yeah. Uh, before coming to Canada, um, your expectations about Canada? When you arrived here, yeah, what was the reality? Oh, what was your question. culture shock? Well, when I came here, I was expecting to be focused on school and I was expecting school to be really hard and good, you know, good for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was good in this way. So I have no regrets about school. Um, soccer, I knew soccer was growing. So if I wanted the same level as I had in Brazil mm -hmm. for soccer, it would take a long time. I, I knew that it was still growing, but I was willing to come here and I was willing to, you know, study and yeah. help with soccer. And yeah, I, I don't think I don't have, sorry? To contribute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. you know, if there is one thing I want to do in my life, it's contribute to other people's lives, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, regrets, I don't know, maybe. Okay, but how about the culture shock? Culture yeah, shock. Yeah. Um, you go first. Oh, okay, okay, that's a big deal. <laughs> okay, culture shock. Yeah. Well, I don't think I, I can regret about the culture shock because I was expecting that people here in Canada was cold. Uh, they don't talk too much. They are just just kind with people, but not that kind. Mm -hmm. So this was better than I was expecting for okay. the people because people here are so kind. And I, for example, in my country, in Mexico, we used to be so hoggy persons. Mm -hmm. So we love to hug. We have, we love to demonstrate love to the other, to our significant mm -hmm. others. And I was like so worried about that because I was like, bro, I really love to hug person, and maybe in Canada they don't love hugs, and they will punch me in my face and hit me and and tell me go away, go <laughs> back to Mexico because we don't love hugs here. Maybe because really you are a girl. Maybe, yeah. I, I, maybe, maybe. If I'm going to hug someone, they'll say, like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Why are you? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that's a good that's, point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe that could be. That could be. Mm -hmm. And also, for example, talking more about, for example, food. In Mexico, they love spicy food. But I don't know why I hate it. I don't eat spicy food at all. She's they, a fake Mexican. I'm a fake Mexican. So I don't eat oh. spicy food. So I was expecting like, oh, bro, I'm going to be super famous in Canada because in Canada they don't eat spicy food. And when I arrived here, they all Canadians told me, we love Mexican food. We love spicy food. I'm like, yeah. I don't oh. cook spicy food, bro. But tell them. Taco Bell is Mexican restaurant? No, Taco no? Bell is not no. Mexican at all. No, 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 no. Have you been there? No. Emotional damage. Oh, I don't want to go there because yeah. the real taco, it's not that big. Yeah. No, uh -huh. that's not a taco at all. It's so hard 
to find Mexico it starts here, but mm -hmm. when you find it, it's also very expensive. Mm -hmm. So you just try to go for what you have here and try to use your imagination to cook something similar that you used to cook in your own country. Yeah. To get so Mexican hard. taste. Yeah, it's, it's not, not the same. I try so hard. I really try my best. I spend like thousand hours on the kitchen yeah. trying to taste that Mexican food, but no. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, it just that doesn't seem. But how about Brazilian food culture or any products you are <laughs> she finding? Eat. She doesn't eat. She doesn't care. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> um, sometimes when I'm home alone, I usually make Brazilian food. So if you come over this weekend, I'll make some Brazilian food for us. Alright. Uh, but yeah, when, when just like her, whenever I find something that is from Brazil in the grocery shop, mm -hmm. it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. There's one Brazilian restaurant here. Mm -hmm. It's called Carnaval. Don't 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 name it. Don't name okay. It. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Carnaval. It has okay, the same Carnival. name as the holiday. Okay. Carnaval. It's a big holiday in Brazil. Yeah, but at least like once in a month. Okay. Next question about the part-time job or full-time job opportunities while studying, being an undergraduate student. Your chance for finding a job and mm, your experience. Okay. Is it easy to find a job? I know that in university, in mm -hmm. campus, you can find many jobs, but you just have to apply the right time. You just have to be checking the website, you know. According to the visa, you can, like as a full student, you be able to work 20 hours, like by, by week, I guess, and you can't work as a childcare, uh, stripper. I'm so mad that they don't allow me to be a stripper. I can really I, I can win more money. <laughs> I mean yeah, I need yeah, money yeah. and that's a really good way to win money. Yeah. But they don't allow us to be strippers. Yeah, so. Okay. That's so funny. Okay. I don't have time anymore because <laughs> of soccer. So. Making money, yeah. yeah. But like, you can do it without telling them all the <laughs> <laughs> <Free> us, stripper. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will do a stripper with my flag of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that when it's summertime, you can work full time. Full -time. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in summer between May and August, mm -hmm. you can work the forty hours a week. You need to drive some mm -hmm. to go somewhere else. So they offer jobs, but sometimes they require too much. And they pay, I if I can remember, sixteen. Sixteen dollars per hour, more or less. Uh -huh. Okay, minimum. Mm -hmm. But your driving license from Brazil or Mexico work here or no? No, mm -hmm. I have a, a Winnipeg driving license. Okay, you. Yeah, already. it works. I just don't have a car yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're going step by step. <laughs> yeah. But last question about your advice to people in Mexico or Brazil. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend them to come? Canada to settle down their life or study here, work here. What advice you have or tricks you want to tell them before coming or before making a decision mm -hmm. and they can have information from you? Mm. Well, I would recommend, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's a different country, but you know, a better quality of life you mm -hmm. have here sure. than you have in Brazil, in my mm -hmm. example. Uh, you you can get a job easily here if you have certificate or diploma. If you have certificate or diploma, coming here and having a job here, mm -hmm. it's total total doable. You know, mm -hmm. totally okay. doable. Um, it's way better. You ha you have a better quality of life. You you make friends. You uh, grow professionally in your mm -hmm. field. Okay. I guess if you're yeah. studying, you grow a lot too. Yeah, I I guess I agree with Bianca. I really recommend to move here to Canada to find a job and try to make your life better because, as she say, it's a really good quality of life here. And I just say, if you want to come, be ready for the winter, buy some good jackets, some good boots, uh, because winter is not easy at all. Yeah. I, I can say that it's... How cold it is it? Be, it could be like... Uh, uh, a sport walking on snow because it's so hard and it's so dangerous. You have to walk so slowly, and like step by step. Yeah, because if you fall, 
You don't. We want yeah. you don't. maximum minus temperature to give her that hair. Uh, I guess the they coldest. have to like minus 40 degrees on yeah. Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. during the Christmas time. Minus Christmas is so cold. And if you go outside, your eyes freeze. <laughs> yeah. you, everything freezes. <laughs> so you have to, you know, wear as many layers as, as you can. A uh, good jacket. If you come here, make sure you bring a good jacket. Yeah, for or, sure. Or yeah, buy one here. Buy it's, from yeah, <laughs> it's way cheaper when you buy from here too. Yeah. Um, Final speech. What do you want to tell my subscribers from all the world? Because we have subscribers from uh, Africa, from Latin America, from the United States, Canada, UK, Europe, Asia, everywhere. What do you want to tell them? Mm, well. Um, Subscribe my channel. Subscribe, Subscribe to the, the channel. channel. Yeah. Like this video. Yeah. <laughs> like this video and keep keep uh, following uh, Emin because he's got some really good content for you guys. And also follow your dreams. If you have a dream to go somewhere, yeah. go do your thing. It's nice to have experience. Go places, meet people, and have friends everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid to travel to different countries. And to learn different languages because that's also super important mm -hmm. because you can meet new people in this video you have people from three different countries speaking the same language <laughs> even if we all have like our different language yeah. on our own countries so don't be afraid leave your comfort zone no. you will succeed sooner or later yeah. yeah yeah that's all from us today if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that button below subscribe this channel give me a thumbs up and if you are interested in any questions, comment below. You are more than welcome to answer these questions. Which video you want to see the next time, also <laughs> comment below. I will make it. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank That's you. it. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs>